Now, just before I begin making this video and before I start talking, before you guys start giving me hate comments and dislikes and just going crazy, do I like this DLC? I think it's pretty good. Do I think it's a waste of money? No, it depends on you and what you are expecting. And do I agree with the hate that this game and this DLC is getting? I do agree to some degree. I do agree with what people are saying about it in certain aspects. And I'll get to exactly why I'm saying this and what people are saying and why are people hating. Now, let's just start off with the reviews about this game on Steam. It's heavily negative. It's actually mostly negative, about 70% negative. And social media is riddled with hate for this DLC. Twitter, crazy. YouTube, crazy. Twitch, insane. Now, it's mostly about the campaign itself. Now, let's just put it in perspective. This DLC is basically 10 years in the making since Destiny 1 released. It's about the Traveler leaving Earth to protect Earth and fight the Witness or fight the Darkness. This is what this DLC is about or even beginning to show that 10 year plan. It feels very rushed. Apparently the ending, I haven't got to it yet, is it's just rushed. You don't even understand what's going on in this DLC. So if you're waiting for something for 10 years and you just get slapped in the face with something that's just so mediocre, you're going to get hate for it. The campaign feels very, very easy from what I have actually played as well on the hard mode and everyone else, like 99% of the people that played the campaign do say it's easy or a lot easier than previous deals uh, from previous campaigns. And also the brand new planet, everyone and myself included will agree it's just absolutely amazing. It feels and looks great from like it gives me cyberpunk uh nice city vibes from it which i love um the brand new npc <laughs> nimbus oh my god what the hell were they thinking that npc is by far the worst character i've ever seen or heard in gaming in the last at least three years it is terrible the brand new Super Strand is great. I love it. It, f it is pretty damn good. It's definitely one of my favorite Supers in the game at the moment. Um, I play Warlock and Hunter and they are just great on those characters. So definitely a 10 from that. Now the campaign gets at least like a 5 from me. Uh, the brand new character, 0. The brand new planet, a 10 out of 10. So the brand new DLC... I thought it was going to be about the witness, but we get Callus back, which is just stupid. I mean, that should have just ended back way then. I mean, I understand he wasn't killed in um, in Destiny 2's vanilla, which we knew he was going to come back. So I guess this is it. Um, he's such a boring character. The Cabal, I find very, very boring. I mean, they do say we're going to bring a brand new character and a uh, brand new enemy type and they force it down your throat that there's going to be brand new enemies, but it's just the same enemies from 10 years ago with a brand new skin and maybe a brand new ability. Now, we do have a brand new character, the Tormentor, whatever it's called. Now, he is pretty damn cool. Um, I will give them that. that. That is a brand new character I love. Bringing it back to Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 with uh, King's Fall and the Witch Queen, those DLCs felt great. We had a brand new character or a brand new enemy type as well. Um, we're not, we're not with Witch Queen, but in Destiny 1, we have the Taken and then Oryx. He was threatening, menacing. And you get the Witch Queen herself. She was a threat too. You just feel like something is about to go down with those DLCs. And then you have this where it's like, meh. I mean, I can really just skip this, to be honest with you. Now, I feel I'm having a lot of fun for about a week or two. Then I'm done with it, just like I have been with the previous DLCs. That is my expectation of what I know is coming and why I feel like it's not really a waste of money for me because, hey, I paid £30, I play for about two weeks, I go back to my other games. I go play in uh, World of Warcraft, Valorant, um, Sons of the Forest, other games with my friends. That's what I do, especially with Destiny 2. Now, don't expect that you're going to be playing this game like you did with Destiny 1, okay? Don't expect that you're going to be playing it like original destiny 2 um okay don't expect that you're not going to be playing for 10 13 16 20 hours a day um replaying the same shit okay that's not going to happen anymore we had that time we had that nostalgia with destiny 1 it was a brand new game now every dlc that we get is just hate it's negative okay don't put your expectation too high because bungie has been proven that they are not going to give you what you want every single year okay that is the bottom line 
don't expect for brand new huge crazy outstanding dlcs with amazing campaign story with amazing characters and everything like that you're not going to get that okay you're going to get a, a pretty good campaign a pretty good you know uh, story to some degree and then that's it you're back to doing seasonal activities just like you have been the previous years that is what destiny 2 is now it's a huge game it's a fantastic game it's hard to keep up and keep the community happy now what i would tell them to do if i was at bungie or i was going to give them a piece of my mind i'll tell them i mean it's kind of difficult to do now but just brand, make a brand new destiny game i mean just stop with destiny 2 and just make a destiny 3 game and just really focus on the campaign the story and the next level of destiny you can really do that with this dlc if lightfall started off as destiny 3 now you had something there because you could really focus hard on the next step for destiny 2 uh sorry for destiny and not keep focused on the previous things that you've been doing the last years seasonal activities just do not work we need expansions every couple of months every six months okay no more seasonal activities because people are going to be pissed that they're paying 35 dollars for something that is just so rushed and they're going to be doing the same thing over and over again that is my review and that is what i think about it I give it a 5 out of 10, and that is my review of the Lightfall DLC.